guys, Jay here. So today I'm going to be doing this kind of a different way, but this is still going to be a tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you two different types of weathering, and weathering is where you make something look used and worn. So I have this armor right here. This is for what's going to be my cloud costume from the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now this is no longer accurate. Some of these cracks and stuff have been changed in the newer design that just came out recently at E3. So this is a little off, but I already made it and I'm not gonna make it again. This is like my 20th one, so I'm not doing it again. Anyway, I have plastic dipped the entire thing except for the screws, which were plastic, and painted it with a medium-ish gray. I think that's a gunmetal, I'm not sure, but whatever it is, I'm, I used that. And then I very lightly dusted silver over it. So it has kind of like a metallic sheen to it. That didn't work as well as I wanted it to, but it's fine. But anyway, we're gonna get onto the weathering. And like I said, I'm showing you two different kinds today. So that's going to be this, which is a dark wash. And then I'm gonna be using silver and these brushes here, which are thicker bristled brushes. And these are gonna be for dry brushing. Now I have shown in tutorials how to do this, but I didn't have a tutorial specifically for it. So you wouldn't know to go to the other ones for that. If you're searching up weathering, you're gonna get weathering tutorials, not my other ones. So that's what this is for. Um, so how to make the dark wash. This is black paint, just your typical black paint. Doesn't matter if it's a gloss or not, I just, that's what I have. Um, doesn't matter what brand either, cause it's gonna get watered down, which is what you do. You just water it down. And then I stirred it with this brush here, which is the brush I'm gonna be using to apply some of it. Uh, you can take a, couple paper towels and wad them up and go over it really dark but I don't want to do that for this one because this is the color I mostly want I don't really want this to be much darker I just want the cracks darker so I'm going to be using this smaller brush to go into the cracks so a dark wash is basically what you're going to use to make something look grimy like it's been handled a little too much maybe in the rain in the dirt things like that. A dark wash is gonna be exactly what you want. Now you can use browns, oranges, and reds to get other colors, but this is a gray and it's like a monochrome type thing. So I wanna use a black because I want these to be as dark as possible. So like all these cracks, I want them to be as dark as possible. And I don't really want dirt grime in it because it's on his shoulder. He's not really in the dirt. He gets in the rain and rolls around a little bit, but you almost never see like dirt and mud in his armor. So I'm not gonna do that. These also need to get painted a silvery color. I'll do that with the dry brushing and it'll just, it'll work. It's not a big deal. It, it should be like with a chrome paint or something, but I really don't care. Um, but anyway, so what I'm gonna do is start dipping this in. So this way you can see it. It's kind of hard to see on any camera angle. I've tried different camera angles and they're really hard to see. So I uh, just basically dip it in get it nice and wet and then just I'm just gonna follow the cracks here and you will notice that it's gonna go around the outside of it that's okay you can take the paper towel and also do the opposite you can wipe it off so I'm gonna wipe that off of the high points and it'll create a much darker uh, crack basically so that's all you're really doing here. So let me see if I can get a good close-up of this. So, yeah, that's good. So I'm putting a lot of this black down inside the crack there. And then take the paper towel and just wipe it right off. But because you're only wiping the surface, it stays in the crack and the crack stays really dark. It just makes it a little bit more pronounced. It's more noticeable in photos than anything else or when you're walking around a convention. It's a lot easier to see in the in the daylight, in the sun. It's actually like 9.30 right now at night here. So, whatever. I actually kind of like the way that the, the wash was looking over the gray there. So I might actually do that as well. But I want to fill in these cracks first. So I'm going to do that for all of the cracks. And you can get kind of aggressive too, so. And then in the screw areas here, in where the nuts meet, that's also a really good place to do it, for this armor anyway, because that's a shadowy area. 
So also this will happen to your brush. So you're going to want to take another one of these and straighten it out every once in a while or it'll keep doing that and it's really annoying. Okay, so something I wasn't anticipating about this uh, didn't happen before, but it's happening with this one because of the way the cracks are. Um, it's starting to it's starting to make the gray look a little different. So, like I said, I am actually going to go over that with a wash. So you can kind of see it in the light. That means in the sunlight, it's going to be even more pronounced. And I don't want that. But yeah, I'm going to go over all of these uh, areas here with the, uh, I have nowhere to set that. I'm going to go over all the places and then wipe off the high points. And now you may actually be able to see, you can see right here, all this dark that's not coming off very well. So it's sticking a little too well to this. Uh, so that's why I'm just going to end up going back over it with a, uh, a whole wash. So whatever, but I do want to make sure those cracks get a really deep uh, dark color so I'm gonna just keep going in on them until I get what I want okay so this might show a little bit more of what I'm talking about um, with how this helps so it's a lot harder to tell with these bigger ones because they're so pronounced already but these smaller ones down here, you may not have even noticed them at first, but you can see them better now. So I have these little scratches down here. These, I could barely see myself, but now they're pronounced really well because of the dark black that's in them. So that's a really good way to show you what it does. Uh, and then I'm going to be putting some in here too. And also when I do the dry brushing, it's going to like make it look chipped off a little bit. So you, it'll be more pronounced. But anyway, I'm going to go over the rest of this. So it's going to be really hard to see, but for things like in here, you can kind of see the glow of not wiped away paint. I'm going to leave that there. That's because that will look like grime when it's done. And that's what I want kind of in that section. So depending on how much you put on is going to make it look more or less grimy. So as you can see, this has a ton of black in it now, and that's going to be wet for quite a while. So I do have to wait for that to dry. Um, I'm going to do the other side. Might even do like down here because like, well, all the way around really, because that is a darker area and I don't want it to just look like the same color and it'll give it a little bit more of a pop. Um, I'm going to do the same thing, obviously down here. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more of a black wash and then I'm going to just show you how to go over the whole thing, which is what I'm going to do next. I almost forgot. Probably want to go over the screws too but I mean this is this should be obvious to so just go over the screws give them a little bit of grime because it'll seep into the the screw itself and go if you can go for for something like this you would want to go with the screws so you're painting in the same direction that the screw is being screwed whatever I don't know the term but the the direction of the threads is horizontal so you're going to want to also go horizontal that way the brush can go inside to get the inside of the threads when you do the dry brushing that's when you want to go vertical so that you're only hitting the high spots and i'm going to do a little bit like on top kind of give the top a wash because those are going to be dirty from rolling around oh i didn't get a uh, down in there there we go so like this you're going to lightly pat it dry rather than wipe it off because you don't want to get like the side of the napkin into the screw or something. So, and pull out a whole bunch of the black. Also leaving some spots on the heads of the nuts there will kind of give it a really cool look too. Um, that'll be all washed over anyway. 
So now I'm going to be using this brush to do an entire wash over the whole thing because this is going to replace doing it with the napkin because these ones kind of aren't able to be used for that right now. The rest of those I need to save just in case. Um, I don't really need them, I don't think, but I also don't need to use them right now. This will work just as well. So this is just another way. So I haven't done it this way yet, but this is pretty obviously going to be the same thing. So we're going to go over it and um, see what happens here. That splattered all over my wall. You can see that kind of right there. Awesome. Okay, so I know to be careful with that. Okay, I think I used too much, but that's fine because most of it will just get wiped off. But that's something to be careful of. I totally didn't even think about that. I'm not used to doing that. So that's why it splattered everywhere. My bad. So I basically just don't want things running like where it looks like it's obviously like a brush stroke or paint running down it. Uh, that's just what I don't want. So I want to make sure to not have that. All right, that, now that that's dried a little bit, I'm able to, there we go. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. So now it does kind of have that grimy look to it. And remember, Cloud is like dirty. <laughs> He's, he rolls around all the time and he gets in fights a lot. So his stuff isn't gonna be that clean. So, this has got to get really like as dirty as I can realistically make it look. Oh, I got to do the the bottom here. So I'm just going to do this in its own really thick wash. I'm probably just going to let that dry like that actually. And you may have noticed this is a pretty messy way to do this. But it's really the only way to do it. Uh, you could wear gloves. <laughs> you could be smart and not be me and wear gloves. Uh, that would be a good idea. So do that. But yeah, this is, this is basically how to do it. And then uh, the next step I'm gonna do is dry brushing. All right, so this thing has had plenty enough time to dry and it's actually the next day. So there's that. So we're gonna go on to the next step, which is dry brushing. So we're gonna take this silver brush on paint, this acrylic paint here, and I get this one that says brushed metal right on it. That's just what I use, so whatever. And I have this piece of foam here, and I'm just, I'm only using this foam because, well, it's right here. So I do actually have some stuff I can put paint in. I just, I'm not using that. I'm, <laughs> I'm using this. So it's stuff I don't want to go grab. So once you dip the paintbrush in it, what you're going to do is wipe most of it off until it's almost gone. And then lightly go over the areas. So like here we're going to be going over the top of the screw and it's going to highlight the, the top of the screw. Go over it lightly. It's going to highlight the top of the screw but not inside the screw. It's very subtle but it's probably really hard to see on the camera. So it is a little hard to tell on camera uh, especially with the lighting that I have. In the sun it'll look a lot better. You'll be able to see it much clearer. So the main purpose of this um, is for the outside edge of things, not really the screws, but those were just like, I, I had to do them anyway. Um, and then I do got to do them on here to actually color these little knobs silver. Uh, so I'll do that as I go along. But the main focus was to go on the outside and then on these cracks. So in the cracks, you're going to go it's very subtle, but on the cracks you're going to want, it's going to make it look like it's chipping away at some paint maybe or something. So very lightly brush away from it and it's again going to be very hard to see on camera, but you can sort of see right here that there's all the silver that I put on. So this is the side that doesn't have it and this is the side that does. So you can sort of tell the difference. So let me do that again, but close up now. So I'm going to do this side close up so you guys can kind of see the difference. It's really hard in this lighting to see what's happening, but 
you can see there's no silver on this side here, this side right here. So I'm going to just take the brush very lightly. You can sort of see it now coming in right there. So again, it's just a very subtle effect that I'm going to get more on it. So. Like that, see? I'm just going to make it look like that on both sides. And then you can even take from the top. I don't know what this would be called. And go out a little bit. And that will give you more of a streaky look I guess uh, I don't know what that's called but it's it looks a little more like it, it's less of a broad stroke and more of a bunch of little streaks so you're gonna do that all the way around for all of the cracks for for this part anyway all right so now that I've done all of the cracks and obviously the screws um, we're gonna be doing the edges of pretty much everything so this one I'm still going to be doing with this right now because I'm going to do the hex nuts first. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Get it nice and dry with a little bit of paint still on it. And then we're going to go on the, on the nut heads. This is going to be hard to do on camera. But uh, on the nut heads we're going to go just very lightly along the entire edge. we're going in kind of a sweeping up motion. So we're going to be going from the edge sweeping up towards the screw in kind of an angle, like a 45 degree angle. That should give you just a, the right amount of paint. So we're going to do that all the way around the screw heads. And then if something doesn't look right enough, you can you can wipe it off so that'll just give it a a little bit more of a metallic look to it all right so the screws and the nuts are done now and now i'm going to change this out for where is it i have a there it is for a bigger one so this will just this this is literally just to cover a larger area faster it, it's the same kind of brush it has thick bristles so all I'm doing is the same exact thing, uh, but covering a bigger area so I don't have to do it as much. So I'm just going to go around the entire perimeter of the entire thing. And then for down here, uh, I'm going to be doing like down here as well. So I'm just going to go up. You can kind of hear it hit both of them. So I'm just going to hit both of them and call it good. This part I'll do afterwards because that's kind of its own thing. So I have to look at pictures to see exactly how that looks. So I can see which parts are supposed to be like a deep black and which parts aren't. So I have to look at it again anyway. So whatever. Anyway. So I'm, again, not sure how much you can see, but... So this is making the edges of it look worn, like it's worn down. So that's basically all you're doing with this. So uh, if, you, if you can see that, I don't, I don't know how well you can see it if you could. It's uneven, very uneven. So there's like, it's barely any right there, bigger there, a little bit bigger there. Uh, that's because, like, the metal won't... I don't know the word, I guess decay. <laughs> um, the, the finish on the metal that would be on armor is going to get, like, the edges are going to start coming off and stuff like that. So, uh, like that, that top layer. So you're going to want to make it kind of look like that. It's very hard to explain what the heck I'm talking about. I don't know the right word. All right, so this is going to be a little difficult to do without touching the other side. So, yeah. it looks like I can get a little bit brighter here. So th this is the back side. So I was kind of testing out if it was 
gonna look good if I had a brighter silver going on it. And it looked like it was letting it work. So I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, okay, that does look a lot better. It's a lot easier to see the brighter silver. So I'm just gonna stick with that then. And I'm only gonna make this brighter silver on the top layer. I don't want it on that bottom because that's a dark layer anyway. So, and I'm not even gonna put it on this back edge here because no one's gonna see that. That's gonna be more tucked up against my body so no one's gonna see it. So I'm not gonna bother with it. And this is basically done. Actually, it is done. The painting portion is done anyway. The costume portion, I still have to make the harness for this. And I was going to move on to this, but uh, I'm going to have to repaint a couple of things now. I just looked it up. Uh, these aren't silver anymore, it looks like. It looks like they would made these black now. So... I might have to redo that. I'll see what happens. Um, this wasn't for painting normally. This was for weathering, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, this is just solid black, it looks like. Like solid gloss black. So you don't have to do any weathering on it. It looks like actually plastic, almost. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you guys want to see any other types of tutorials, like how to do this or how to do that, uh, go ahead and leave comments or tweet me or anything like that. And I'll do what I can to get out more videos. It's, it's easier if you guys can suggest some stuff for me. Or just let me know things that you guys want to see how to do. That you may not know how to do. Because to be honest with you guys, I don't have very many video ideas. So, I just have what I'm working on at the, at the current time. So, I'm not even actually working on this. It's just something that I wanted to get done for when I do work on it. So don't be afraid to give me some suggestions for other things to make for other videos. Anyway, that's going to be it for this. If you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later.